Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna follow the article or the Twitter hashtag that has been trending. Yes, people, Bill Gates bioterrorist. Okay, let's see what kind of videos we're gonna see with this hashtag, okay? That the next epidemic uh, has a good chance of originating on a computer screen of a terrorist intent on using genetic engineering to create a synthetic version of the smallpox virus or in of the smallpox virus okay that's kind of crazy um okay if he said that was in 2017 right yeah 2017 he said it it might be true because it's happening now well today has 6.8 billion people that's headed up to about 9 billion now first we've got population now the world today has 6.8 billion people that's headed up to about 9 billion now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. And, you know, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. First, we've got population. Now, the world today has 6.8 billion people. That's headed up to about 9 billion. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent what why would that be related to each other new vaccines health care reproductive health services we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent i have to be very careful with my word because i know youtube is watching me and you know vaccines actually can in weird cases do an enhancement of the disease you really need to to test for that. The work on a vaccine, although that probably will take 18 months out. Enha enhancement? An enhancement? How? I don't want to say because I'm not a scientist, I know. But how? I can make a suggestion, but you know that we'll get this video removed. I will get another strike. But why would he say that? Maybe he didn't understand what he's saying. Okay. I mean, he's not a scientist, but hey, he still represents the scientist. Cool. Okay, okay. That's going full speed ahead. Our foundation is funding that. We're looking at getting vaccines to everyone in the world. So in, in, the, in the long run, that is the key thing. It's, it, it is fair to say things won't go back to truly normal until we have a vaccine that we've gotten out to basically the entire world. And which activities like mass gatherings uh, maybe in a certain sense more optional and so until you're widely vaccinated those may not uh, come back uh, at all oh eventually what we'll have to have is certificates of who's a recovered person who's a vaccinated person because you don't want people moving around the world where you'll have some countries that won't have it under control sadly you don't want to completely block off the ability for those you know, people to go there and come back and move. Actually, with all this mumbo jumbo, I don't mind everybody just stay in the land they are and stay there forever. And stay there and try to survive forever. It, it becomes such a mumbo jumbo because, hey, I lived on an island that was only 60 kilometers. I was having fun. I didn't need to know the whole world. I was happy on an island. I think most people can be happy. I don't need to travel. I'll watch it on TV. Cool. That's enough. I don't know. With all this mumbo jumbo, <laughs> I, I don't need to travel anymore. Around, so eventually there will be sort of this digital uh, immunity proof uh, that you know will help facilitate the global reopening up. Oh, the only thing I understand is I know now why most people don't like you. And is doing the surveillance and actually doing what I call germ games, where you practice to say, okay, what if? Uh, a bioterrorist brought smallpox to 10 airports. Why are you, you smiling? Know, how would the world respond to that? Uh, you know, that there's NAFTA really caused epidemics and bioterrorism caused epidemics that could even be way worse than what we experience today. All I can say is this has been trending for literally four days already. It, it doesn't stop. Respond more effectively to the next disease X or known pathogens. Unfortunately, there has been a small minority of groups making misleading statements and purposefully distorting facts. 
I want to be crystal clear. WHO's agenda is public, open, and transparent. Sure, sure. WHO stand strongly for individual rights. We passionately support everyone's right to health, and we will do everything we can to ensure that. I'm not sure about that, but if you're going to say a small minority, I don't think that is true. There's way more people that have an opinion about this whole situation, but you silence them. So you can't lie to me that a minority thinks like that. You might believe that because that's what's the only thing you see on your feet. Yahoo article, Bait Gates warns a small pox terror attacks and urges leaders to use germ games to prepare. Okay. Your body, my choice. Uh, kind of a little how I feel about this whole situation. Now, this is something that I find kind of interesting. Here you have a picture where people are using uh, uh, the wrong picture as if this is chicken pox. Okay. Shingles. Shingle, also known as herpes parabim barabum, is a disease caused by a reactivation of the chickenpox virus. But then again, we go to the other side, it's a rare monkey, no, big, um, monkey paw is a rare but potential serious viral illness that is characterized by flu-like symptoms such as fever. And I'm like, why are you using the same picture? I mean, I'm not saying that you might be wrong, but you do know that people are going to be like, so you have these pictures prepared? You cannot provide a clear one of somebody that actually has it and that's it. it, it it's weird. Because Schwab says you will own nothing. He said we'll own it all. Oh. That's why you have gates, not just owning the seed. What do you do own our food? One, of course, controls the health. And now owning land. This, if any, if ever there was a time for humanity to wake up, now is the time. I think humanity is waking up. I mean, they start realizing this. It's just that we would have to have a harder stance against this whole situation. I think it will happen. I believe it will happen because if we can believe in humanity, what's the point? You can't be rich if the poor don't comply because the rich cannot rule themselves. It doesn't work like that. You need the poor people. So if the poor people can actually have a voice for themselves, maybe we can actually make a change. I'm not sure if you actually noticed this, but um, Bill Gates met with Epstein 37 times. If you really think that I need to think in a very nice way about that, and he was just laughing, well, Epstein is dead, so you have to be careful, or something like that with a smile, the fact that you respond like that, it makes me really see you as a different person, especially when you say this stuff with a smile. It doesn't make any sense. So this guy made an interesting spot. Amazing that monkey paws can simultaneously appear globally in less than 72 hours. It's like more of an organized terrorist step than natural occurrence. Yeah, it frustrates me too. I'm like, dude, what the heck is happening right now? Also remember, some time ago, they actually found valves with smallpox that nobody could explain where it came from. And then suddenly that whole news disappeared and nobody was talking about it. So if you add that with monkeys that escape suddenly, I make a conclusion. I'm not, it is not this information. If somebody told me a girl went in that way and then she was pregnant, I will make a conclusion, right? This way, I'm not a scientist, but I'm not dumb either. Township Montgomery County, where vaccine research is conducted. Say, okay, what if uh, a bioterrorist brought smallpox to 10 airports? You know, how would the world respond to that? A truck hauling 100 monkeys collided with a dump truck outside Danville and three of the monkeys got out. They arrived in the U.S. last week from Mauritius, a country in eastern Africa. They were being taken from New York City to a CDC-approved quarantine facility. The three that escaped posed a health risk to the public, CDC officials told us today. McCakes can pass deadly viruses to humans. This morning, a Massachusetts man is in isolation after being diagnosed with the first case of monkeypox in the U.S. this year. Dr. Chin Hong says monkeypox can spread through the sharing of any bodily fluid. Behooves us all to think about a pandemic response. Could be that individuals are not as immune to monkeypox as they once were as a result of smallpox vaccination. That's why we see uh, the ordering of the vaccine. You know, we'll have to prepare for the next one. That you know, I'd say is, uh, will get attention this time. Why are you smiling? I think that's the end. I just took a shower and now I feel dirty. <laughs> I mean, I thought I removed chicken pox and just watching that, it totally changed my mood and sense and everything. And I don't know what the heck it is. 
how it works. I keep hearing weird stuff on the internet and I'm like, okay, dude, um, should we listen to the internet or should we not? Because CNN has a very good message for me. CNN held. Anyone can get the monkey books. But CDC warns LGBTQ about greater chance of exposure now. Oh. Anyone can get spread monkeypox, but a notable fraction of the cases in the latest global outbreak are happening among the gay and the bisexual men, the U.S. Center of Disease Control Prevention said Monday. So, do not arrest me in the car with the monkeypox. I don't want to be arrested next to a person or in the bus with the monkeypox. And you, you get where this is going. You're, you're dividing people again. That's all I'm saying with not clear information what the heck is happening. But hey, I'm a good guy. I bought my house. I'm locked inside. I'm on maybe possible disability. Who knows? So I'm not going outside. I'll gym at my house. You prepare. Get your food. Do your stuff. Because if the government wants to keep you under control, amen. You have to make the most out of it. Especially if you're not going to have an opinion. Because that will confuse your silence for compliance. Let me know what you guys think. Peace. Like, share, bada, bim, bam, boom.